name is Annie and I'm an artist and art educator at Hazelhurst Art Centre. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a bonsai sculpture from our foil, which can be used as a model for some drawings like this. A bonsai is an already small tree that's been trimmed down to look like a big old tree. The activity is inspired by artist Carolyn Rothwell's exhibition called Horizon at Hazelhurst Art Centre. Rothwell's work looks at the different ways that people, plants and machine-made things are connected. For the bonsai, you'll need a roll of alfoil taken out of the box, optional scissors and glue or sticky tape. For the bonsai drawings, you'll need newspaper or a plastic tablecloth to protect your table, cartridge paper or paper from an art book that's a bit thicker than regular photocopying paper, ink, or watercolour paint. You can also use pencil, texture, crayon or pen, an apron or an old t-shirt to protect your clothing because ink will stain your clothes, paint brushes, pointed ones are the best, a couple of jars, one for ink and one for cleaning your brush and some paper towel to mop up any spills. Before you get started, have a look at pictures on the internet of bonsai and get to know their beautiful shapes. Now let's start making our bonsai. First, we need to make the roots of our tree. Using a rectangle of alfoil, we're going to scrunch the four corners like this to make a four-armed starfish. So be careful not to scrunch too tightly, otherwise the foil will break up into little pieces and fall apart. Wrap your foil stick around the base of your tree and twist the ends together, leaving the ends separate. Now we're going to build up our tree trunk. We want it to be bigger at the bottom and smaller at the top. Try not to spiral around your tree. You need to twist the ends to make it strong and secure. Then you can twist the other ends together. And we could also use this technique to add roots to the base of our tree. And instead of going up, these will go down to the ground and we can bend and shape them. Once you have some roots and a trunk, Twist on some branches. But if your tree is lopsided, that means you need to add more foil to the other side. So keep adding more branches, more roots, more trunk and build up your tree um, until you're happy with the shape. Once you're happy with your bonsai, you can leave it as is or cut and stick on some leaves and fruits. A good tip is to fold a scrap piece of foil in half, in half again and in half again, and cut your leaf shape out through all the layers. And that way you'll have lots of leaves. Any extra bits that you don't use can be scrunched up into a little ball make a piece of fruit for your tree. So here are my finished bonsai. Try making a miniature version as well. And after you've displayed your creations for a while, you can scrunch them up into a ball and put them in the recycling bin to make room for more art. Now you can use your bonsai as a model to create some drawings. Of course, we can't draw all the tiny crinkles in the foil, so we have to find the basic lines and shape that stand out to us. Try using long sweeping strokes that are relaxed and confident. If you make a mistake, try and make it look like it's part of the artwork. Some other things you might like to try are turning your bonsai model around and drawing it from different angles. You could colour in some of the darker areas of your tree so they look like shadows. You could block out the negative space around the tree 
all the positive space inside the tree. You can also draw in one continuous line. So here, I'm not looking at the paper, I'm looking at the model, drawing my picture without picking up my paintbrush off the paper in one continuous line. It's actually really tricky to do, but really fun. Well, that brings us to the end of the lesson. I really hope that you'll try this activity at home. Please take photos of your bonsai sculptures and drawings and tag us at Hazelhurst Art Centre or use the hashtag Hazelhurst at home. Happy art making. Bye.